everybody this is Jeff with DIY TV and today we're going to take a look at Adobe Flash Player if you're anything like me and you're just surfing the net and you want to play an mp you're trying to play an mp4 or get something to play and all of a sudden a pop-up comes up and it says update your flash player in order to continue and you're like wait a second here I'm not so sure I'm supposed to do that so the next thing you should do is probably go to Google and say do I need the latest version of Flash? And so what you're going to do is you're going to pull up this article right here, right? You're going to get this notification here, this article. You're going to want the one from support at Google because that's the one you know you can trust because it's coming straight from them. And it's going to tell you depending on what website that you want to activate it on, right? So let's just say I wanted to activate it on this website here. I go to this lock button right here as it says right so it's telling me to go to the lock button site settings and then allow so let's go ahead and do what it says we'll go right here site settings pulls up and for this particular site because it's only for this particular site we are actually going to say flash allow now you shouldn't get that error um, because you've basically said you're just going to allow it but that website is trying to sell you a version of flash not saying that it's legit or not because we don't know but sometimes it could be not legit right it's just taking advantage of the the setting that you have in your computer so if you want to activate flash on a particular site that's how you do it so this one it would be for this site I also have other options in here that I can adjust right images pop-ups all that stuff I could set it to allow or disallow and each site is going to have its own independent option for that so you would have to probably allow flash for each site that you're going to use now the thing about this site as it says HTTPS that means that it is a safe website right how do I know because I can check the certificate if it has a certificate that means that it's got an SSL certificate, which means it's safe for use. If it doesn't have a locked like this and it says not secure, that means you probably shouldn't access it, okay? So I'm just showing you these kind of things. Then you go ahead and make sure you are searching. If you don't have Adobe, you can make sure that you search for it. You can type in Adobe Flash Player for Mac and you should go to that website right here. Make sure you've got the official Mac uh, website if you don't already have it installed select your operating system Mac OS or Windows and then you hit download but you want to make sure you're on the actual adobe.com website don't be trying to get Adobe from some of these websites that especially don't have an HTTPS or a lock signal right you basically want to make sure it's site secure that's why that's why we talked about this connection is secure certificate is valid so if you're getting it off a website that doesn't have a locked or it doesn't have a sec safety sec security uh, SSL certificate, probably better to just go straight to Adobe, check anyway, and then retry it. So I hope this video helps, and we'll see you guys next time.